season. Gerloff was absolutely superb, and you would have never in a million years believed that um, Axel Bassani was going to get on terms with him later on in the season and start to challenge for top independent. And that's something that uh, Gerloff is actually going to genuinely have to defend over the course of uh, this weekend, because he sits in eighth position in the championship, only 14 clear for Axel. Yeah, and uh, certainly for Gerloff, up until Axel really looked like he was consistently at the front able to run at the same pace and uh, really battled with everyone in those leading positions. Had some podiums at the start of the year. I gave Leon Haslam a bit too much credit there. Front row for Haslam, not a, not a podium. I just remember then Bob Burner at different times. But uh, certainly for uh, Gareth Gerlach, hopefully this is the, the sign of what we're going to see from him again next year. We want to see him at the front of the field. He's an exciting rider. He's obviously had some good times through the course of this season. But uh, you want to see him able to show the exactly what he can do on a superbike. Yes, Haslam's had a good form. That's, uh, that's close enough. And uh, P45, I'm afraid, as far as uh, next season is concerned. Uh, so he's set to move on from uh, three minutes still on the clock for MP2. Raz Gablioglu, the fastest man out there, but Jonathan Ray has chipped away at that margin. Gareth Gerloff also very much on the pace. Leon Haslam with that stunning effort to go P4. Alex Lowe is currently rounds out the top five. Coming now to the, uh, the final laps from there of our big guns. Michael Vandermark just setting a new personal best. Uh,
Thomas Gaffield. He's got this session. He's got Friday sewn up here at the Mandalika International Circuit and with a series of stunning laps faster than his uh, nearest rider. Yeah, and uh, what's going to be interesting is to see that for Top Rack, he's fast in each of the sector, very fast in sector two. But uh, for Jonathan Ray, he's been able to his lap length, second half of the lap. set to be his personal best luck, I'd say that's going to go away from him now, he makes his way through the inside line.